So today we're gonna talk about a few handheld devices, okay? We got the Steam Deck in one corner, we got the Razer Edge 5G in the other corner, and then right in the middle we got the Asus ROG Ally, alright? Which one of these devices is the best? Well, clearly the Razer Edge 5G is the best. <laughs> I'm joking, don't buy a Razer Edge 5G. Today we're going to talk about the Asus ROG Ally versus the Steam Deck. Alright, Asus ROG Ally has better specs. Clearly it is better. Video over, goodbye. Just kidding, okay? And, and calm down, don't dislike the video yet. I know you're like, you're like, oh, he's shitting on the Steam Deck, how dare he? <laughs> Alright, calm down, chill out. Alright, let's talk about it. So, by the way, I purchased a Razer Edge 5G from Verizon. And I'll tell you what, that was a big mistake, okay? Do not buy a Razer Edge 5G. <laughs> I mean, you do some research into it, dude, and you'll see why. But it's just kind of a useless device, unless you are really into, like, Diablo Immortal or something. But anyway, uh, on to the ROG Ally and the Steam Deck. And I'm going to try and do this pretty quickly, because I keep recording this same sort of video, and it's taking too long. So uh, hopefully we can do this in five minutes or less. Listen, okay? Yes, the Asus ROG Ally has better specs. It has an 8-core, 16-thread CPU, Zen 4, which I believe is two generations ahead of the Steam Deck CPU. Um, it has, I mean, it has double the core count and the thread count of the Steam Deck. Um, it has a 120 hertz screen that's 1080p. There's a lot to like here, all right? But it runs Windows, and the sad truth is that the Steam Deck does not run Windows, and that makes it a better device inherently. If you get a Steam Deck, you can jump into whatever game you want almost immediately. If, you, if you've messed with Windows before, you know that if you want to get the most out of gaming, even on a desktop on Windows, you have to tweak settings, all right? And, so, and certain things you can disable. Disable Cortana, disable the game DVR, all this stuff, and you can get, like, 10% more FPS just from, like, dicking around in the operating system. Steam Deck? No, it comes fully, like, how it should, and you can just jump into games on it. That's what makes it such a great handheld. Um, so I think that both of these devices have a market, and I think they're both incredible devices. I was a huge... Um, Steam Deck fan, and I still am. So, and this is after the first Steam Deck I received had a dead pixel, and I had to send it back during Christmas time, wait three weeks for another model to show up because they sent me a replacement. And I still love the Steam Deck, I think it's great. But the fact is, if you are one of these people that wants to play like more advanced games like Destiny 2, or some of these games that require you to be on Windows. The Steam Deck is ass on Windows. It was not meant to run Windows. You can do it, but it's not going to be the greatest experience. The fact is, the ROG Ally was made to run Windows. So if you can see yourself playing handheld games on Windows with the ROG Ally, and the games that you have will not run properly on Linux, the ROG Ally might be the better choice. And I think it's really weird how a lot of people are failing to understand that there's there's different markets for different people, okay? <laughs> if you're one of these people that wants to hop into games that you've never played before, maybe there's some indie games or whatever, um, just to play your like backlog of games that you've never even touched that you bought on Steam, yeah, the Steam Deck is great for that. Or if you have like a few specific games you really like to play that run really well on the Steam Deck, that it's perfect for that. But there's also a market for people maybe that want to play games that only run on Windows. And running Steam Deck Windows is just not a great experience. I tried it on the SD card. Um, there's a method where you can get Windows running on the SD card. It is a little bit uh, scary to wipe the actual hard drive on the Steam Deck. Because I don't, I don't know if they fixed it now. But you didn't used to be able to get SteamOS back on the actual... Um, device itself if you wiped the uh, the operating system off the Steam Deck. I'm pretty sure there's a way now that you can reinstall SteamOS. Um, I then again never actually wiped the Steam Deck. I just used the SD card to run Windows. So I, I don't know. I think that if you are a tinkerer, you might want to go with the ROG Ally. If you're somebody who enjoys just hopping right into your games... The Steam Deck is a great option. So uh, there's two very different markets for these two devices. 
and I think that's okay. It doesn't matter that the Steam Deck is not you know, nearly as, as powerful as the Asus ROG Ally. And a lot of people are going to say, well, Nick, we've all seen the reviews. They don't get, you know, that much more FPS on the ROG Ally. Well, Dave2D actually kind of debunked all of this and said, Asus sent this thing out with faulty firmware. And recently they fixed it after Dave spoke to them. And the thing is actually getting really good FPS now, right about where you would expect. So... Um, I, I think the Asus ROG Ally is going to be great, and I don't think there's anything wrong with saying that, and I think the Steam Deck is still going to be great, even after the ROG Ally releases. They can exist in the same space and have very different uses, and both still be good devices. Don't be one of these fucking nerds that's going around crusading for the Steam Deck or crusading for the Ally, but... I don't know, guys. That's that's it. I think uh, that's the video. We'll see you guys next video. Peace out.